Hi, I'm Madison Hatter, and you're watching Lindsay Klein's Homegrown Spotlight. <laughs> Welcome to the DHA Homegrown Spotlight. I am with Maria Dantas today, and you are your little firecracker. You're so <laughs> tiny, and this loud sound comes out of you, and it's and it's beautiful. Thank you. So we've only had a couple female soloists, and um, it's been a long time. I think it was when the blog just started. Mm -hmm. So it's nice to have you. You add Thank a you. unique flavor to the blog. So how long have you been playing music, and who taught you? Um. Okay, I've been doing music for a while, uh, I guess since a little bit before college. Um, Self-taught, um, awesome. yeah, just kind of basic guitar um, to chorus in high school, so I have a couple techniques, breathing techniques or whatever, for singing. But, but otherwise no singing lessons. Um, yeah, I used to play with uh, a friend of mine in college and now I'm kind of just on my own. Um, it's fun. Okay. Yeah. so. Um, do you, okay, so today was obviously an acoustic, check out the acoustic performance. Is this something that, when you go out live, do you, is it just you and your guitar or do you ever, uh, plug in? I don't know. Yeah. Like what kind of venues or shows do you do? Um, I have played with a band, um, a couple of my close friends backed me up, um, for a few shows. We opened for Jack's Mannequin through like a Battle of the Bands thing. Oh, so, that's cool. Um, it was really cool. They backed me up in, it, for that show, but, uh, for the most part, it's just, um, playing by myself and I do um, open mics, I play a couple like coffee house shows. Mm -hmm. um, I'm trying to, you know, play bigger shows, but it is hard when you don't have um, a band. So everyone listening, if you want to <laughs> if you want to work with Maria, let her know. <laughs> Go on, eat people. But, um, but yeah, um, but no complaints. Uh, when I'm playing with people or when I'm playing alone, it's, it's just fun to be doing it at all. Right. So obviously I'm going to say that you write your own music. Yes. It's all you. Yeah. Um, been writing alone for as long as I can remember, even when I was little, just like terrible songs, terrible songs. <laughs> but um, but yeah, I, I write my own stuff um, and uh, that's all I know really. Okay, yeah. where does um, your inspiration come from? Do you have any, uh, maybe, I mean, it could just be live or do you have any singers that you inspire you to write your music? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I, I have a ton of, uh, you know, Im influencers, um, the Ava brothers. I love, um, you know, like Fiona Apple, and mm -hmm. I, I have a lot of um, of idols. But um, I guess subject matter. Um, I'm really influenced um, and inspired by vulnerabilities okay. um, and just like kind of the, the bare bones of our emotions. Um, and I try to write uh, from that. Um, okay. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Well, you're awesome. It's like <laughs> we were introduced through a, a coworker, but you know, sometimes that's a, a wonderful thing, <laughs> like this time. Yeah. <laughs> Which is very cool. We have a, a little little my I grew up in a town where she knows very familiar, so it's yeah. I love small world connections. Yeah. It always makes the world a little smaller and, yeah. and easier for us to, to just have a conversation Absolutely. as we're doing right now. Mm -hmm. So um as far as recording, you were saying off camera that you have a couple performances recorded now. Now, did you go to a, a studio to do that? I have a few songs, a few handpicked songs. Uh, one um, collection through a contest that I won um, called the Essex County Singer Songwriter and uh, Contest, and I got to record three songs. Cool. Um, so I have those three recorded and a professor of mine has been helping me put together a few other recordings but I don't really at this point have um, a CD or anything like okay. that but working on it working on awesome. it awesome yeah. that, that would be a goal yeah that, that would be a goal nice, that is that'd be a nice goal. segue question for <laughs> yeah. you so you've got this this one woman amazing sound that you take on the road of, how far have you taken your yourself <laughs> um, I, I've played a couple shows uh, down in Baltimore. Okay. Um, it's probably as far, well, because I went to school there, so um, explore that area a bit. But um, I'm pretty local. I've played, like I said, smaller shows, but the, my biggest show has been um, at Jack's Man again, opening up yeah, at Jack's Man again. Yeah, that's really cool. That was awesome. It was really awesome. But uh, yeah, that's the level I'm at right now. I'm trying to gain momentum and um, okay. yeah, take so it to the bigger So do you places. think that you've learned so much doing it yourself, or do you think that maybe you'd want a manager down the road? Um, definitely, I think I would benefit from a manager because um, I'd love to take it a little, a step higher. Mm -hmm. um, 
I, uh, I, I love the vibe and the, the sound of a full band, so definitely trying to take it to a point where I'd be playing with a, with a full band more often. So if you were doing that, would you always try to sprinkle these in as well since this is how you started? Definitely. Because, good. Yeah, I, I think... Um, don't lose that because it's really... You know, not too many people can get up in front of this camera or as an audience by themselves yeah. with a guitar. So yeah. Yeah. You've mastered that, always come back to basics. Totally. Right. And we were saying too before off camera how even in um, a small performance like this, it's like so nerve wracking and it's kind of scary. Uh, and people always ask me like, are you still nervous? Because I've played, you know, a handful of shows and it's like, I'm always nervous. It never gets easier. <laughs> it never gets easier. Because so, you care. Yeah, exactly. So I, I never want to lose that. And I think playing solo shows your strengths, shows your weaknesses, which is, you know, good and bad. And I think, um, people can relate to that okay. and uh, so I, I definitely enjoy playing alone we'll continue doing that awesome yeah. and along the same lines if you did have a band would you be interested in producing albums still alone and then maybe with them as well wow so many things to oh, consider oh sorry yeah. <laughs> um, I just have a lot of questions for you because no, you yeah. are a unique these are things entity. I need to be thinking about so yes yeah. yes I, um, it's good to have goals yeah yeah <laughs> I think I think um yeah, just like a lot of artists kind of like do strip down things or side projects. I think um, True. it'd be cool to have uh, a separate thing that I did on my own um, that maybe had a different sound uh, and, you know, maybe even take sort of the fuller songs that I'd be doing with the band and then have, uh, have like a side thing where I did um, more acoustic and strip down and just myself. Um, there's definitely something really attractive about that. Like when I hear like... Um, some of my favorite artists just like by themselves I'm like wow yeah, that's yeah. cool you know so I think um, both musicians and listeners really like that kind of Benefit, thing so exactly, yeah with yes um, I'm that. not a musician and I love um, when an artist is by themselves yeah. it's just, or they make one album by themselves yeah. it's really cool yeah and, and of course acoustic is always raw you can hear the natural talent which is why I do this cool <laughs> so uh, enough harassing you with the questions you've, you've done amazing <laughs> with these goals um, one I always ask artists when they come in that you what you have learned so far if you were to give an artist maybe another female starting off by herself or a band mm -hmm. uh, a piece of advice from what you've learned so far what would you tell them in this scene that we're in which is obviously original tri-state area right. music scene um, I would say take any opportunity to play mm -hmm. um, you know unless it's like sketchy or something but, like, <laughs> but if, if you know if someone says dude there's an open mic or whatever like don't judge things before yeah. you just you know, just do it just go play as often as you can um, and I mean this is something I battle with myself but stay motivated um, and stay active because it's easy to kind of get down on yourself and like you know think oh I'm not doing anything and stuff but um, staying motivated staying focused uh, is something that's definitely gonna keep you going mm -hmm. so I mean that's kind of obvious but yeah I think it's important to <laughs> hear that you know yeah, yeah absolutely yeah cool well now is your time to just promote uh, if you have a you know, this World Wide Web Facebook yes Twitter, Instagram, whatever you have, tell our listeners where they can find you and, you know, the gigs that you have coming up. Awesome. Um, I have a gig this Saturday. I have a gig um, next Saturday, but more on the broader spectrum of things. Um, if you like what you've heard, check out facebook.com slash Maria Dantis Music, where you'll find more links and more videos and more songs. Um, and hopefully you can stay connected through there. That'd be great. And maybe uh, keep your eyes out for an album coming out. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. All right. Thank you so much, sweetheart. You're thank awesome. you so much.